Hey guys, I hope you're already well. So today's video is a vlog of sort of the last month of university basically. I'm still doing little bits for uni, like I have my London show on Monday, which is still to come. Um, but this video is like behind the scenes of my photo shoot. It's like finishing all my garments, um, my fitting shoot, and then sort of getting portfolio and lookbook together and everything like that. So, that is what's in this video. If you would like to watch it, <laughs> please watch it. So yeah, just thought I'd introduce it because there's a lot of me not talking in some parts. The last month of uni was quite hard, <laughs> mentally wise. I'm, I'm starting to feel a lot happier about everything now, but there were moments where I was so down. Um, I just didn't want to do anything and but like before handing, I was like, what's the point? <laughs> so that was really bad. Um, so I didn't really feel much around that time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video of seeing me finishing all of my uni work. Um, and now I'm nearly free. So yeah, really hope you guys enjoy this video. fabric I'm bleaching. I don't know where my bleach sample is but it looks really cool when it's bleached because it keeps the dark outline and then this goes like a really really light denim almost white so yeah I'm really excited about that and I've also already got a dress in the fabric like this so it'll be nice in the collection. need to sew on like the poppers and um, hook and bar but this is just a sample of what I might paint the trousers to be like so that because I already have one outfit with painted details so I might add it into that one not sure yet but yeah these are the trousers they're just like flared trousers and then they've got a little seam that kind of goes all the way around and, and then at the back the seam sort of curves up over the bum so they're very flattering <laughs> I now need to measure out how much piping I need to make for this shirt and make the shirt and hopefully I'll have made it by lunchtime and then after lunch I can adjust my toile for the final dress and then once that's made everything has been made
I'm just trying on the outfit really quickly to see what things are looking like. It's not finished. Also had some accessory ideas come in the post. Nothing has like fastenings or anything on it yet. And I definitely want to paint the underneath outfit or at least the trousers because I think it would look really cool. But I'm going to do like a steam test on the painted sample I've done to see what it does to the paint. So that when I need to steam it, um, if it melts the paint straight away or not. So this is the shirt I was working on this morning. Got little sleeve details. Last night I finished all my garments, so all six are done now. Um, so now I'm going to focus on accessories. It's Sunday morning right now, and I'm just popping into town to get some fruit and some like washing stuff because I've run out of like washing detergent things like that. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, and I've just chucked on a little white t-shirt, pull and bear blue jacket, and then these jeans from H&M, and then these just clocks boots are so easy to just chuck on so yeah that's what i'm wearing and i'm gonna go in now because it's early ish in the morning for a sunday <laughs> so hopefully it shouldn't be too busy just yet i can't believe i finished all my garments <sighs> Morning guys, so today I have my last ever tutorial at uni. <laughs> this is so weird, like the time has just flown. I woke up early today, got ready, kind of put a bit more effort into getting ready for this tutorial. So yeah, really hoping I don't get emotional when I'm in the tutorial because that would be embarrassing. But I also think it's going to be really surreal seeing my completely finished collection today. With all the accessories, all the shoes, and like, everything put together. And then after this, tomorrow I'm doing my shoots for um, like the fitting sheets. Um, for when we have the show, we hang up our garments and it's got a sheet of how you're meant to wear the outfit and everything. So I've got that tomorrow. And then the day after is my photo shoot. <sighs> which for that I'm going home and there's a really amazing location just like literally five minute drive from home. Today I am wearing this really cute little top from Zara. It's like slightly cropped. This is also the last time I'll have to put a post-it reminding me of things for my tutorial. This is a little Zara top and then it's just looks like that at the back. Um, and then these jeans Oh, these H&M actually, these jeans, they're not Zara. And yeah, so comfy. I just love H&M jeans because I can go um, in a middle size and they're just a little bit loose, but it means they're so much more comfy. And then I've just got my Air Force One trainers on. I'm going to make a conscious effort to pull this camera out when I get to uni because I always forget. And I just get so caught up in the madness of everything. And then the tutorial's over so quickly and it's just like, oh. Like, I probably won't bring you into the tutorial because it might be a bit weird, but I'll show you guys the outfits on, hopefully. If the girls stand in a line for me.
the day of the shoot. Ah. I've got two girls coming today, um, Olivia and Natalie. So I'm very excited. I also have my really lovely first year helper Lucy coming as well. And yeah, so it should be a good shoot today. It is meant to rain halfway through our shoot, which is just great. But it should be okay because we can probably just find indoor places. I can't believe how quickly this has come round. It's really quite scary. But this is the setup of the room. We've got some drinks over there. And then I've got my little makeup station and hair, which hopefully Lucy can help with. And then all my garments over there. And down here we have the shoes and all my bags. And then I've got some dressing gowns ready for the girls for when we go to location. Um, if they get really, really cold or anything. Um, yeah, then I was steaming these all this morning. I was really happy with how the shoot turned out yesterday. So that gives me a bit more hope for today that it's gonna go okay and i mean every time i've shot at this location we're going to the photos have always been amazing because the lighting up there is just amazing so i'm sure it will be okay shoot it went so well I was so exhausted after it it's actually a few days after the shoot and um, I just spent like two solid days editing the photos and putting them into a lookbook and I was gonna get it sent off to print but there just would not have been enough time and it would have been so expensive here's my little lookbook I tried a perfect binding DIY sort of thing and then kind of just went my own way with it so hopefully it holds up enough to be shown tomorrow when the show is because we're just putting these on like tables um so yeah it's something to show but this is a little look inside um most of these images will probably be going up on my design instagram account um so if you guys want to see them they shall be on the yeah, Olivia and Natalie were just amazing models. I just, Natalie looks so amazing in this check suit. So yeah, also I had a lovely girl called Lucy helping me out on the shoot. She was super helpful. And so yeah, today is the day before the show. And I spent all morning trying to decide what I'm wearing. So, because I have to be in uni by nine tomorrow, um, even though the show my show starts at five, um, which apparently I'm opening, which is kind of like, what? <laughs> Today I'm just working on my illustrations and I need to get some business cards together. There's one of my giant ladies. <laughs> yeah, and I've got all of these Polaroids 
from the fitting shoot that I did with Emily and Evie. So I need to scan these in today. Um, so that can be a job for later on when I'm a bit more tired. <laughs> Copy Studio is booked for 3.30, I think. I'm gonna be working on illustrations all day and trying to put a portfolio together for tomorrow. So not much to do. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get on and do some illustrations now and I will catch up with you guys a bit later on once I've done some more work. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 